updates with a special screening of Mario Van Peebles' new movie, Armed, at the Sanger Theater. Mario is here with us, along with Andrew Atkinson from Broussards and Eric Finley with the Episcopal Church of the Good Shepherd. Good morning to all y'all. Good, Good morning. Good morning. Hey, thank you so much for being here. Mario, I want to start with you, and I told you this during the commercial break. Thank you so much for coming back to Mobile. I know you just shot the USS Indianapolis here. Tell us what brought you back to Mobile once again. Uh, when I was doing USS Indianapolis, I you know, got to hire a lot of great people. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was this one very charming guy that kept popping up in every scene, and that was Andrew. <laughs> but Andrew and my daughter worked on the movie. So okay. yeah, you hire your daughter, it was bring your daughter to work week for like a couple months. And, uh, <laughs> and my daughter Maya and Andrew talked, and she said, uh, Andrew said, Look, what can we do for Black History Month? And she mm -hmm. said, why don't you, my dad loves to blab and wear funny hats. Why don't you bring him down and, uh, and, and show armed? And so mm -hmm. we're gonna go show armed at seven o'clock Saturday at the Sanger Theater, which I love. Oh, By the way, beautiful. that's the theater we shot some of USS Indianapolis at. Very cool. So now instead of shooting USS Indianapolis and having a, another film play on the screen, mm -hmm. you can see my thriller Armed play on the screen. And it's a wild, mind-bending flick, and it kicks off Black History Month, which benefits the church, and that's the tie-in, and it's for a good cause. There and you go. How's that? That is awesome. We're going to talk all about the events coming up as well, but we do have some footage from Armed going on right now. Not only are you the actor in this, but you're also the writer and director. I'm always amazed by taking on all of that to put a film together. Talk to me about all that responsibility and making it all come together. You know, I kind of grew up in a, in a family that made a lot of independent film. My dad, sure. Melvin Van Peebles, is a filmmaker. Um, I just learned each discipline, sort of like mm -hmm. if you were to work on a family farm, you learn how to plow the field, feed the chickens. It's all part of the zen, the collective zen of filmmaking. Mm -hmm. And what I believe is there are three loves in life. Love what you do, which I do. Love and enjoy the folks you do it with, which I do. And, I work with <laughs> and love what you say with your work. And so mm -hmm. Armed is based on real stories. And it's the first time that I play a ca I played a lot of guys with guns over mm -hmm. the, you know, heroes with guns. And this is the first time I played a hero with a gun. He's got too many guns. He's on the no-fly list, mm. and he's got a skewed sense of reality, and it's based on real stories. So people watch Armed, and they, the first part, they don't know what's going on, and when they finally get it, <laughs> and the penny drops, they go, whoa, this is real stories. Mm -hmm. This could happen right here. And people say, what is the target audience of Armed? We're, we could all be targets of people that have a skewed sense of reality and too many guns. And so... So I wanted to do a film on that and not tell people what, what to tease, think. What a tease, Mario. You know. Have you done you this go. before? <laughs> are, you, are you familiar with this? Um, Y'all, I want to talk to you a little bit, too. Uh, how Broussards get involved in all this? He touched on it a little bit, but tell us about Broussards' involvement. So Broussards is the oldest music dealership on the Gulf Coast, mm -hmm. and we uh, supply the new organ for the church. Mm -hmm. And I also happen to be the organist and choir master at the church. Very cool. And I, I ended up kind of being the cog that the wheel spun around on. And so when I had the idea to bring Mario to Mobile, I approached Broussards and I was like, look, you know, I know we're involved with the church, we've got the organ there, we want to debut it. Mm -hmm. Would you consider being the title sponsor? And they were very gracious and agreed to do it. And so here we are. And Broussards is very proud to be the sponsor and be debuting their new organ tonight at the church. And Eric, I'm friends with your daughter, Edra. Hi, Edra. <laughs> Hope you're watching out there. Um, tell us a little bit about the church and why, the, how this all benefits you. Well, the uh, Episcopal Church of the Good Shepherd is the oldest African-American church, Episcopal church, in the state of Alabama. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do black history programs every year. And right now, we have a vision of establishing a, uh, 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 an area for youth to exercise their musical and their play mm -hmm. um, uh, in that particular area. And so um, we thought that this would be a great exposure to have Mario here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want the kids to think a little bit further than just maybe playing a musical instrument or mm -hmm. uh, being an actor, but let's look at directing, let's look at composing, right. let's look at playwrights. Mm -hmm. And so it was just a great opportunity um, with bringing Mr. Peebles here. The more that you, you put yourself in a position where you're creating a, the story, the more you can make sure the story says something. Right. You can entertain people, but you can still say something that has nutritional value. And we have a great platform to say so. So entertain me, but make me think a little bit. Well, I like to say, make America think again. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> well, along those lines, I wanted to ask you, you know, you mentioned your dad, Melvin, starting way back in the yes. day with Sweet Sweetback and yep. all that kind yep. of stuff. Tell me why you think it's so critically important for African Americans to be involved in the film industry and how that storytelling can help on so many different levels. Okay, so Dr. King said, we all learn to live together as brothers and sisters. All of us, white, black, gay, straight, Asian, Hispanic. 
or we perish together as fools. Mm. And I think now with the irreparable damage we're doing to the planet, mm -hmm. that we have a limited amount of time, and I said this last night to the folks, to all get along and figure it out and, and get in harmony, not even just with ourselves, but with nature, or we perish together as fools. And I think through each one, you can do it through what you talk about, you can do it through who you mentor, you can mm -hmm. do it through who you teach, and I can do it through what I say in media. Make us see the commonalities in us as people, the good in us. Mm -hmm. Make me understand a guy I'd never meet. And if you can do that, and in Armed, I wanted you to understand that what kind of guy would have all those guns and could still be a good guy. How do you reach him? How do you help him? And so that's part of the fun is take a story, teach us something, and entertain the heck out of us. Well, thank you all so much for being here, Mario. Right, Great to see you. Let's take a look at the screen. I think we have some more information about when these events are. If you want to find out more, you can log on to the Studio 10 tab at fox10tv.com. But there you see it. Tomorrow night, the screening, of, the screening of Armed at the Sanger Theater. Don't miss out, y'all. It's going to be a fantastic evening and a fantastic celebration. Y'all, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate y'all coming in. Thank you.